Hello everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of Tech This Week. So today, you know, uh, I won't be talking about technology per se. So it's more about you know our identity, sovereignty, as a nation, and the and the audacity to dream big, right? Uh, you may be wondering what am I getting into. So this is uh, 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 this episode is more topical. So I'll give you a bit of context. So Ola, which all of you know, you maybe have used it more often than not. So which is India's leading ride-hailing company, made headlines this week, you know, by announcing a shift from all of its cloud services from Microsoft Azure to Kruthlim, uh, which is Ola's native AI cloud platform, right? But you may wonder. What has this got to do with you know identity, sovereignty, and the entire dream big? You know, uh, let me give you some context here. So we need to first look at why India really never had a strong foothold <clears throat> as far as global IT infrastructure space goes. <clears throat> so if you see, I think more cultural than anything else. So the Indian business culture, you know, is often characterized by preference for stability. And probably, and which has changed significantly <coughs> over the last few years, is the low risk ventures, right? So this this aversion stifles innovation and discourages the kind of, you know, maybe the entrepreneurial spirit that we've seen in uh, more advanced economies and specifically clusters like the Silicon Valley, you know. So this approach has led to heavy reliance on global players, positioning Indian companies as Implementers rather than innovators, right? So you see, historically we've done really well uh, as far as IT services go, but not so much uh, as far as you know product innovation is uh, concerned. So as a result, the dependency on foreign technology, you know, kind of led to domestic initiatives often taking a backseat. So I'll give you an example. <clears throat> Since we're talking about cloud, if you look at cloud technology, for example, you know, despite Whatever we talk about digital advanced digital technology, India has not a single native cloud service provider that can match in terms of scale <coughs> and service uh, breadth, like the likes of AWS, Azure, or GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform, right? However, if you compare this with China, you know, China on the other hand has developed its own robust digital infrastructure. With with the likes of uh, you know Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu, you know, we, and and they so they are strongly relying on you know their own native cloud service providers. As compared to India, we 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 have a long way from there, right? So I think this absence of a major local player in this in this space is a gap, uh, if I may say, for lack of a better term, uh, India's gap of digital sovereignty. If you look at this, you know, Ola's breakup story is important in the context of India's technology excellence roadmap, right? So historically, you know, many uh, telecom and IT companies in India, which are Indian uh, organizations, have shied away from competing directly with giants like AWS and Azure, right? Preferring to partner, and I'm talking from a cloud standpoint. So, so Ola's bold decision is indicative of a new temperament in India's tech industry, signaling a shift from partnership to leadership. And this is not something new for Ola. If you see, this is not a one-off stand because Ola has done this very famously in the past when they took uh, on the biggest riding share aggregate in the world uh, in the name of Uber, right? And they do, did it very, very successfully. So. And so you have to also understand every company does not possess the cultural backbone to venture into areas which are dominated by tech behemoths like the likes of Google, Uber, or or or, 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 or Amazon for that matter, right? So what what's the takeaway here, right? So in simple terms, you know, to become great, you need to step into an area of giant, right? It takes guts and courage to go against. A giant like Microsoft, people might call it uh, timely announcement because uh, Ola's vision of launching Kruthim is around the corner. Is this a PR stunt? Time will tell. But to succeed in the cloud business, I think you have to also understand it takes more than nationalistic fervor 
right i think it goes beyond that but at the end of the day any organization which chooses say truthrim ai over say a aws uh, a google or a microsoft or azure will not be because it's indian it's because probably because offers or renders better services or maybe uh, offers them cheaper so i think this india tag while it makes for a company headline but a choice of a cloud service provider finally will hinge on what you offer and at what price so no enterprise will choose a service just because the company has indian origin they will evaluate it purely based on what they offer and finally the most important factor is that the you know the powerhouse of trinity uh, that we call it in the cloud parlance of aws as well as gcp is kind of a formidable one forget ola's footprint even the likes of you know oracle uh, ibm have found it very very tough to break into this uh, trinity right so yes we talk about sector where the entry barriers are not just about technology but also the uh, ability to scale innovate and adapt to rapidly changing market demands and it is only for the guys who are here for the long run having said so it is a really an attempt by ola will it succeed or not it's a question that remains to be answered that's it for my end have a great day ahead bye